Hello, my name is Clara Rosa, and this semester I took a global environmental public health class at Boston University. This video will be to teach you guys about what noise pollution is and ways that you guys can protect yourself from it. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, noise pollution is um, disturbing or unwanted sound. Many people don't really regard noise as a pollutant, but in reality, it has been known to cause some health concerns. There are many different sounds that surround our daily schedule. This includes the following. Some of them um, is noise and others sound. Now, noise becomes unwanted when it interferes with daily activities like sleeping or when you're trying to have a conversation. It has negative health effects when noise is heard constantly or at high levels for a very long time. It is related to stress, hearing loss, and sleep disruption. That's just to name a few. Hearing loss occurs when people hear decibels of 65 or higher for a long period of time. A few things you can do to protect yourself from noise pollution is to wear earplugs, also, go to a quiet park for a walk sometimes to get away from the city noise, as well as try to not listen to music too loudly because over time this will cause you hearing loss. One last thing is that, as you know, many of us youth like to hear music on our headphones. And for example, I know I did, did this sometimes, like when I would be on the train and I don't want to hear anybody else around me, I'll have my music really loud. But that's actually not good for us because you're, you have the music, you know, it's really close to your ears and the decibels are probably way higher than 65. So it's important for us to try and get headphones that block out every other noise so at least um, we can hear music that's not that loud and that won't affect our hearing over the long run. So I hope this video has been helpful and I hope that you guys have learned something about what noise pollution is and ways that you guys can avoid it and hopefully also ways that you guys can improve your health overall. Thanks for watching.